Elements are everywhere. They are what where is, because any place you can be is a place made of elements. Everything you see around you, anything you could drop on your foot, that is a thing made of elements. But how many of them have you seen in their pure form? So here they all are, set in the immortal words of Tom Lair to a possibly recognizable tune. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead praseodymium and platinum plutonium palladium promethium potassium polonium and tantalum technetium titanium tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. The astonishing variety of the elements ranges from the soft but explosive luster of potassium to the expensive neighborhood of the platinum group metals to the even more expensive diamond allotrope of carbon. From the familiarity of tin, to the exotic shine of hafnium, to the edgy world of the radioactive elements. I've tried to capture all of this in my book, The Elements. I spent seven years gathering these objects. You will not find a more diverse or colorful book of the elements anywhere. Every element has a hundred stories, and I've tried to tell a few of the most interesting ones about each element. If you've ever wondered what the basic building blocks of the universe look like, I give you my book, The Elements. <laughs>